I remember coming into the airport office building where we are now and sitting at the table and just one being in awe that this was like an option, that we were even having this conversation, that this type of environment was like conducive to having an all gender restroom and asking us what, what would you need? What would feel safe to you? What would make it private? We're talking public spaces here and we're talking secure spaces at the airport. So whatever we can do to increase um, inclusivity. Well, I, I started talking about this um, probably in my second year here, so I would say 2007, 2008. And why can't we have all gender restrooms? Because you know there's lineups outside of the women's restrooms. There's nobody in the men's restroom. We've had a lot of passion, a lot of excitement, both internal to the Port of Seattle, as well as with our external customers, to start offering this amenity to with the passengers at SEA. So just really excited for everybody to see it. One of the things to highlight with all gender restrooms is how much more efficient they are, both from a, a layout standpoint, but as well as an operational efficiency, especially not just for young children, but often there are people with different disabilities where that, that urgency and need to use the restroom can be, um, can be a problem. We have both ambulatory stalls and wheelchair accessible stalls. Uh, these are full height doors. They all have uh, locks on them. They have their own ventilation systems, and they're really just gonna be a heightened experience for the passengers at SEA. You'll see uh, our shared sinks. These can be used by all users. And then on the front side of the restroom, you'll also see a brand new family restroom. You know, some of the feedback we did hear from religious stakeholders is that it is important for uh, some awareness uh, for the traveling public that before they walk in, for them to be aware of, of the type of space they're entering. Through our signage and some of our, uh, our wayfinding, we are trying to make it clear that this is an all-gender restroom and, and there will be information about where the closest gendered restroom is uh, if a person chooses to use it. We've increased capacity. We've allowed more opportunities. We've, there's a whole lot of issues even around disability using restrooms because a lot of people, they can't tell. You know, not all everybody's needs are obvious by just looking at them. Gathered layers for people like myself that we have to face. Removing this place of risk makes it a little bit easier. It's one thing off the list that I don't have to think about when I'm gonna travel. It's so respectful. And that on my experience, and even the ones I've had that have been terrible, was being recognized and respected and honored and seen and validated. This restroom project, again, it's, it's been, um, it's been something that I just keep carrying with me with every, every group and division I go to. I, um, I have you know, been a, a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a caretaker of, of a disabled brother. This is somebody that affects me personally every day. So uh, yeah, I'm very passionate about this. I'm so excited for the opening of SeaTac's All Gender Restrooms and look forward to joining uh, the public in having this new addition here at the airport. So for everybody out there, welcome to our brand new all gender restrooms on D Concourse and we just can't wait for you to enjoy them.